Hello. I am here to rank every StarCraft Brood War unit for no particular reason other than I feel like it. If you've never played StarCraft and you don't know a lot about the units, then this is probably not the video for you. Uh, because I will mostly assume that whoever watches this does know why these units are great or not so great. I will say a little bit of something about my decisions, but I won't go around explaining every single unit of this game. I'm mostly just gonna rank them. Also, there's some StarCraft music in the background. All right. Um, I guess I'm just gonna go in order, maybe. I'll try. So, Terran Battlecruiser. Pretty solid unit. Um, I don't really like their, their attack. It's just this laser that goes like pew. I don't really like the pew noise that much. Yamato Cannon, kinda overrated. It does a lot of damage if you do a lot of these at the same time at something. It does a lot of damage, but it takes a while to charge up. It's annoying if it gets used against you. I'm gonna put it on C. Battlecruiser is a C. Uh, Broodlings. I do like the Broodling ability of the Queen, but the Broodlings themselves, kind of useless. I don't like them. And if something gets Broodlinged, like a Terran siege tank, and then there's Broodlings, like two of them, and they kill all the other siege tanks or one other before it can unsiege itself, that's just annoying. So Broodlings... E, actually. Defiler, I love my Defiler, um, can cast, I guess that's called Bloodbath or something, which just drains a bunch of energy from even buildings and such. Can cast like this Dark Cloud, which Marines cannot shoot through, and then can also eat other things, but that's not so important. Does it have a third ability that I'm forgetting? Anyway, Bloodbath is good enough for, for the Filer to go on. A for now. I also love to play the Filer on impossible maps. That's like a fun map variant where you only get like one or two units and you have to kill a whole bunch of AI controlled units. Uh, these things are called Devourers, I think. I'm not even sure. Ever fucking hate those things. They take so long to attack. I don't I still don't really know what these spores do that they infect other units with. No, uh, I don't like them. Drones, amazing. Gotta love drones. Um But of course they can only turn onto buildings and that's it. Gonna put a drone on the B. <clears throat> uh dropships. Kinda cool. Kind of, uh, like, definitely better than Broodlings. Definitely not as good as, as uh, battle cruisers. Can't really do much except pick up units and drop units. So that's where the dropship goes. Fire bats. Not as cool as Marines, I think. Can kill a lot of Zerklings with uh, not so many attacks. I think their splash radius is kind of, like, uncertain. Always feels kind of like they, I don't really know what they're gonna hit and what they're not gonna hit. Also, their attacks take a while to actually happen. Mm, but I do like their voice acting. So, yeah, that's the C. That's why the battle cruiser is as well. Ghosts, love my stopper. Just being able to disable all kinds of big technical thingos, amazing. Can turn invisible, can just walk around maps and nobody knows where the ghost is and such. And the nuclear strike, just amazing ability. Um, yeah, can nuke stuff. That's an A. Ghosts are an A. Goliath. Nah, uh, they're like super weak on the ground, I feel like. They have amazing anti-air rockets and they can just destroy like the Guardian to the right here, for example. Uh, for the rockets, they get like a C, but the ground attack is more like an E. 
but they're better than a dropship, so that's a C as well. Guardians. Love Guardians. They have more range than any of the anti-air turrets that you would build to protect yourself from air units. But guess what? There's a dozen Guardians and they're just gonna ruin your entire shit. That's an S. Guardians are an S. Of course, if there's like a Devourer or something coming, you're fucked. Your Guardians are all gonna die. But that's the gamble you have to take there. Hydralist's instant S plus tier, amazing unit. It's good against ground, it's good against air. You should just have 200 of those or 100 of those because they take two stock uh, unit thingies, food stuff, I guess. Hydralist's basically best unit ever. Infested Terrans run fast, blow up, uh, do damage that way. They're like as good as a dropship. Dropship plus a, plus a bunch of infested Terrans actually, not a bad combo. <laughs> Lurkers, they evolve out of Hydralisks, uh, but they cannot attack unless they are burrowed. They do attack um, only ground units if they're burrowed. They're like the ground equivalent of the Guardian, kind of, but their range is a little lacking, so I'm gonna put them on A. But they have a lot of splash damage, so burrowing a bunch of those in a location where nobody expects them and then somebody walks over them and stuff just goes and everybody dies. It's always a fun time. Marines, they're a B. They're better than bats, better than a Goliath. I would have a hundred Marines and have fun having those, but if they walk into like 10 lurkers, it's goodbye a hundred Marines. They shoot their gauze rifle and that's about it. The fuck is this? Is this just a civilian? No, that's a medic. Kind of dislike medics. Before Brood War, there, were, before Brood War, there weren't any medics. Uh, medics heal all non-tech, all non-mechanical um, units. And they're kind of imba, like imbalanced, kind of OP. Um, I don't really like him. I'm gonna put him here with the rest of the Terrans. I guess Terrans are just a C for me across the board. Okay, getting into Protoss. Arbiters are almost like one of the most fun units of Protoss because they cloak everything around them. They can make the stasis where stuff is just out of the picture for a while and the recall where if an Arbiter flies to some critical location and suddenly there's this blue warpy kind of thing you know that a million protoss units just got teleported to where that arbiter is and also are invisible now so that thing is just a cool time uh arbiter but it itself except for those abilities can't do shit right it's just like this utility thing so that's a b Archons, Archons, in German, in German it's Archon, Archons, I guess, uh, are two Protoss that, like, have committed the holy bond of marriage and are now just one being. Um, they have, like, a big splash attack, but that's it. They don't have any abilities. The fun thing is that they have, like, a 350 points of shield, but only, like, 10 HP or 20 HP. It was always kind of fun to me. Like they're actually very fragile and if you hit them with an EMP, they just kind of pop. <laughs> um, but I would take an Archon over like a Firebat or a Medic any day. But they're not as good as an Arbiter. Uh-oh. Okay, we're gonna have to do something here. This is actually, yeah, that's how that goes. All of Terrence is a D. Protoss is better than Terrence. And then apparently there's a lot of Zerg. Uh, carriers are amazing. They're big, big, big ships. And they attack using tiny little ships that fly out of the carriers and attack um, for them. They themselves cannot attack at all. But you can build the tiny little ships inside of the carrier and that's always fun. Uh, yeah, I think kind of the same. Carrier Archon is just a big unit that does a 
bunch of damage. Corsairs are better than the Defy... Oh, that's a Defiler, not a Devourer. Um, they also just have like a... They can only attack air just like the, the Defiler. No, that's a Defiler. That is a Devourer. Sorry. Uh, Corsairs have like an air, anti-air splash attack. They can throw that web onto like towers to make them not work or units as well. They're just kind of annoying. They're fast too, but they don't, don't take too much abuse until they die. They're okay, but I don't really love them. They're also a hassle to, like, you if you have a couple of them, selecting them and doing all those webs, it's just all of that is annoying. Dark Archon, one of the best units ever, can mind control other units of any type, and that's just your unit, so you can mind control an SCV and you get to build Terran buildings now and have Terran units, so that is amazing. Can also the feedback ability is amazing how it just takes the basically mp of other units and blows it up into their faces that's great dark templars kind of cool kind of annoying that just always cloaked they can only attack uh melee range and only other ground units uh they're still better than any terran <laughs> like all of these terran units so they go there Dragoons are the Hydra equivalent of um, Protoss. I would almost put them up here as well. Just if I play Protoss, I'm gonna have a hundred Dragoons and they're all gonna go like pchoo, pchoo, all the time at you. Dragoons are just a solid unit. Also, there are Zealots, which will get to reincarnate it, put into this weird spider-like body, so that's cool. High Templars, they can do Psy Storms, they can do uh, Illusions, which is cool. Uh, an Illusion just makes two copies of any other unit and uh, other players or the enemy AI can't tell that that's an Illusion and not an actual unit. Psy Storm is OP but hard to handle and they can melt into an Archon, two of them. You can make one of those, which is kind of fun. I would put them on the same spot than the Arbiter, I think. Observers, ugh, they're always cloaked. They can't do anything except they also see every other cloaked unit. I don't know. Yeah, it's like a dropship. Like, well, whatever. Probes, I love them going and whatever they do. They <laughs> make those fun sounds. Um, I don't like them as much as drones for whatever reason. I guess because drones actually turn into the buildings, which is cool probes like warp in buildings which also is cool but yeah reavers i used to not like for a long time um but i'm pretty sure they don't do splash damage to your own units i am pretty or maybe they they absolutely do do they i think they do do splash damage to your own units which is tough and i used to hate that but these days i can i can be fine with that so, I yeah, they're a little cooler than like an Archon or a Carrier or a Dark Templar because they have these big scarabs that go somewhere and then they blow up and that's a lot of damage and you can make a lot of um, mayhem happen that way. Scouts, kind of really boring, just regular air unit, has some great anti-air rockets that hurt, but the ground, the air-to-ground attack is just awful it's this little pep, pep, pep kind of machine gun kind of thing they're like yeah they're on like goliath level they're like reverse goliath kind of not really shuttles just like drop ships just whatever can take units can drop units there you go cool okay uh zealots i'm gonna put on terran level because they just are ground units they only have melee attacks i don't like the sound effect of their melee attacks it's a little uncomfortable <laughs> sounding kind of like glass or metal um i like them better when they died and turned into dragoons like phoenix did queens are cool they can just turn a lot of big units into instant brutelings which is fun they can put parasites onto other units, which makes them 
uh, reveal whatever they see to you. So you can put that on enemy units and they have a parasite then and you can see what they see. And they have this uh, splash slow AoE ability and they can infest command centers and then you can build um, infested terrans. But all of the things they do are so situational that I want to put them here. They're kind of cool, but they're not as cool as an Arbiter. They're definitely better than a, like, all of this shit, though. Science Vessels, kind of cool. They have a lot of great spells, like um, the Shield, which just protects stuff for a while. They have the EMP, which just wrecks Archons and uh, Dark Archons as well. They're just immediately useless if you hit them with, with an EMP. And uh, they have this gas cloud kind of thing, which can fuck up an ultralisk uh, or a stack of mutalisks real bad. Gotta put it here. I think these are called scourges, terror in German, I think. Uh, they just, they're the infested equivalent, but airborne. They blow up into air stuff. And that's kind of cooler than the they also have Splash, so if they fly... Oh, do they have Splash? Maybe they don't have Splash. Anyway, they're as cool as a Scout, I guess. SCVs, kind of the same level as Probes. They can build stuff. They have fun voice lines. Um, I like their demeanor, for sure. That's how SCVs goes. go. Siege Tanks, I like a lot. If you have a couple siege tanks and you just put them on some up on some mountain ledge or whatever and you wait for stuff to come and they're only gonna see the siege tanks the moment they're gonna explode basically. I like that. That's good. Ultralisks are kind of the most boring Zerg unit in the world because they're just big and just melee and they just do a regular attack that doesn't have splash or anything and that's it. Boring. Almost here, actually. Ultralisks, boring. Valkyries are just like the Vowers. Just, I, ugh, no. They're just attacking air. They're air themselves. So if the enemy doesn't have air, they're literally useless. They don't do anything. And their rockets just go everywhere and are confusing. Vultures are kind of fun. I like their um, attitude a lot. And they can lay spider mines, which can be fun, but are kind of impractical sometimes. They're gonna go, yeah, on the a little bit cooler Terran unit category. Wraiths also go there. Um, they're just a regular air unit, but they can uh, get the invisibility upgrade. Um, their air to ground kind of sucks, but it sucks a little less than the scouts. And their air to air missiles are just amazing. I love those. They sound satisfying and they also do satisfying amounts of damage. Zerglings I'm gonna put here. Uh, here. Yeah. I, yeah. They're not as cool as Larkas, but they're definitely cooler than all of this shit. And they're kind of as cool as like, yeah. Like just having 200 Zerglings is just fun, but they're gonna die. Like there's gonna be a Psy Storm or there's gonna be a couple fire bats and they're just gonna all explode. But it's fun if they have like speed upgrades and stuff. Uh, Mutalisks, I'm gonna put on the same level as Scouts. They're not as cool as Wraiths to me. I really don't like the hit sound effect of their attack. Just as the Zealots, it's a little too like tinny for me. And they have like this ricochet thing on their projectiles, but they don't have any splash. You can stack a bunch of them and have a like cloud of death, but if you're unlucky, somebody's gonna size storm it and they're all just gonna pop. And then overlords, they're cooler than dropships and um, shuttles, but also not. Um, the only difference, like they, there's actually a couple differences. They're like the food source of Zerg, but they're also the dropship and they're also a detector. So there are a whole bunch of stuff rolled into one, uh, but they're so slow if you don't get the upgrade and that's awful. And I don't like having to deal with them, honestly. I would much rather have the Zergs have a building for food as well and not have the Overlords. Actually, fuck it, Overlords go there. I don't really like them. 
Okay, that's it. Uh, turns out Hydras and Guardians are amazing. Dark Archons and Dragoons are amazing as well. Ghosts, Defilers, Lurkers, all a cool thing to have. Drones, Marines, Arbiters, High Templars, Weavers, Siege Tanks and Zerglings. All happy to see those. Uh, happy to see all those as well. And then there's a big like core in the middle of stuff that I don't really care that much about. And then there's like stuff that's just kind of utility that uh, whatever. And there's these two fucks that I don't care about and don't like. Okay, thanks. That was me ranking every Starcraft Brood War unit. I hope you had fun. Goodbye. <laughs>